Welcome to this module on the basic mechanical theory of belt drives. Today we're going to learn how to identify some common types of belt drives. We are going to calculate pulley ratios and then we're going to use these pulley ratios in conjunction with mechanical advantage and velocity ratio to calculate torque and rotational speed. What you see before you are some common types of belt drives. The first type on the left is the flat belt. A flat belt is the simplest type of belt drive because the belt is simply a flat piece of material that engages with a cylindrical pulley. Because of its simplicity, it is relatively easy to manufacture and therefore it is relatively cheap. The second type of belt drive that you see before you in the middle of the screen is the V-belt. It's called a V-belt because the cross section of the belt tends to be a V-shape. Uh, in this example though, you will see that this V-belt actually has several V-shaped ridges on the inside of the belt. The advantage of a V-belt is that the, the V grooves fit into corresponding grooves in the pulley and this helps keep the belt from slipping off the pulley. The other advantage is that because of the V grooves, it increases the surface area of the contact between the belt and the pulley and therefore in, there is more friction between the belt and pulley and this leads to less slippage. The third belt that is shown on this page is the tooth belt. Now tooth belt is essentially a, a flat belt with some teeth in it and these teeth mesh with notches on the pulley. So that's, this makes the pulley look like a gear but essentially it is actually still a pulley just with notches in it where the teeth of the belt fit in. Now because of the teeth, it helps the pulley system to reduce slippage and therefore this type of belt is able to uh, transmit more torque and can run at higher speed without slippage. However, it is obviously more expensive to manufacture. Now there are other types of belts for example, belts with uh, a round cross section. Uh, but these that you see before you are some of the most common that are used in industry. Now the pulley ratio of a belt is defined as the ratio of the diameters of the pulleys in the belt drive. In a simple belt drive, there are two types of pulleys. First of all, there is the driver pulley which is driving the entire belt drive mechanism and that's where torque and energy is applied to and then there is the driven pulley which is being driven by the belt uh, and therefore is the one that work and energy is transmitted to so therefore the definition of pulley ratio is the diameter of the driven divided by the diameter of the driver much like gear trains, the primary purpose of belt drives is to transmit torque and energy. There are, however, some advantages that belt drives have over other uh, drive mechanisms, such as uh, gear trains. And the advantages are, first, belt drives can transmit torque and energy over long distances, and they can do so by having longer belts. They are relatively low cost because they generally tend to be made out of materials such as you know, fabric or compounded rubber or a combination of uh, different types of materials which are generally lower cost than metal. There are however some disadvantages to belt drives and the primary one being that belts can slip. This is because belts rely on friction between the belt and the pulleys. And because of this slippage, the torque and speed of belt drives are limited. Now, 
The torque and speed of belt drives can be improved if we can improve the friction. And we can do this by our choice of material or by using something like a tooth belt. Another disadvantage of belt drives is that belts can stretch over time and this reduces their effectiveness. One way of overcoming this is to use an idler or tensioner pulley which serves to take up the slack when the belts stretch and become loose. But idler or tensioner pulleys introduce uh, more friction and this reduces the efficiency of the belt drive. We are now going to look at rotational speed in belt drives. The points on a belt drive are connected so they move together at the same speed. The pulleys in contact with the belt move with the belt and a pulley makes one revolution when the belt moves by the distance equal to the circumference of the pulley. A larger pulley turns slower because it has a larger circumference and this difference in rotational speed between the pulleys results in a velocity ratio. The rotational velocity of a pulley is related to its circumference. In fact, it is inversely related to its circumference. And therefore, because of that, uh, the formula for velocity ratio translates to the diameter of the driven divided by the diameter of the driver. And this is the pulley ratio. So velocity ratio is equal to pulley ratio. And this is the key thing that you need to remember. Next, we're going to look at torque in belt drives. So if the friction between each pulley and the belt is the same, then the magnitude of the force on each pulley by the belt is the same. Therefore, the force that pulley A exerts on the belt is the same as the force that the belt exerts on pulley B. However, because pulley A and pulley B are different in size, they have different radii. Therefore, the torque on the axle of the pulleys will be different since torque equals to the force times the perpendicular distance. In which case, this is the radius of each pulley. Right? Therefore, larger pulleys will have more torque on the axle and this difference in torque produces mechanical advantage. So, the torque on pulley A is equal to the force times the radius of A and the torque on pulley B is equal to the force times the radius of B. Given that the both forces are the same, therefore we find that because the radius of B is greater than the radius of A, uh, torque on B is greater than torque on A. Mechanical advantage equals load divided by effort. So in this case, we are talking about torque of the driven divided by torque of the driver. And because torque is equal to force times the perpendicular distance, in this case, force times the radius of the driven divided by force times the radius of the driver, the force cancels out. And essentially, we get a ratio of the radius, which is equal to the ratio of the diameters of the driven divided by the diameter of the driver. And this is again the pulley ratio. Therefore, mechanical advantage is equal to pulley ratio. And this is the key thing that you need to remember. So let's practice what we just learned through a work example. So in this case, we want to calculate the pulley ratio and mechanical advantage of the belt drive shown and find the speed of the driven pulley. Now we have a situation where pulley A, which is the driver, is rotating at 100 RPM. Uh, and we need to find the speed of pulley B, which is the driven pulley. We are given the diameters here. So that's 10 centimeters, a diameter of A, and 30 centimeters, the diameter, diameter of B. So if you recall, pulley ratio is equals to the the ratio of the diameters 
So it's equal to the diameter of the driven divided by the diameter of the driver. And that is 30 divided by 10, which is equal to 3. We also know that mechanical advantage is equal to pulley ratio. So mechanical advantage is equal to 3. And therefore, we have then calculated the first part of this work example. We've calculated the pulley ratio and the mechanical advantage of the belt drive. Velocity ratio is equal to the driver rotational speed divided by the driven rotational speed. Now, transposing this equation, we get driven rotational speed equals to the driver rotational speed divided by velocity ratio. Now, we know that velocity ratio is also equal to pulley ratio. So, therefore, we substitute in the values. We know that the driver rotational speed is 100 and divide that by the velocity ratio which is equal to the pulley ratio of 3 and that gives us 33.3 revolutions per minute. There is a particular configuration of belt drives that are quite unique to belt drives and that is the cross belt configuration. Cross belt drives can be used to reverse the direction of the rotation. So in this example we see pulley A rotating in a clockwise direction it drives the belt down uh, from the top to bottom diagonally uh, to pulley B and this causes pulley B to rotate in the anti-clockwise direction. Belt drives can be used with compound pulleys. Compound pulleys are pulleys connected to the same shaft. Right. Connected pulleys on the same shaft therefore have the same rotational velocity. And these are able to produce a large pulley ratio without actually having large pulleys. So therefore compound pulleys are compact and can reduce cost because it reduces the need to have very large pulleys to get large pulley ratios. So in this example we have uh, pulley 1 as the driver and the compound pulley which is a pulley in the middle a pulley, which has pulley 2 and pulley 3 connected to the same shaft. Uh, we find that the net pulley ratio is equal to the pulley ratio uh, between pulleys 1 and 2 multiplied by the pulley ratio between 3 and 4, which gives us 30 divided by 10 multiplied by 20 divided by 10, which is 3 times 2 equals 6. So let's practice what we've learned with another work example. In this example, we're trying to find out what the rotational speed is of the driven pulley in a compound pulley system. In this case, the driver pulley is rotating at 100 RPM and we are given the diameters of the various uh, pulleys in the belt drive system. First thing that we need to do is calculate the net pulley ratio of the compound pulley belt drive system. Uh, that is the product of the pulley ratios. The first pulley ratio is the ratio between the 20 centimeter pulley and the, the driver pulley and therefore that's 20 divided by 10 and the second pulley ratio is that of the diameter of the driven pulley divided by the second compound pulley which is 5 so that's 20 divided by 5 this gives us 2 times 4 and that is 8. We know that velocity ratio is equal to pulley ratio and therefore we know the velocity ratio of this belt drive system is equal to 8. And velocity ratio is equal to the driver rotational speed divided by the driven rotational speed. We transpose this equation, this gives us the driven rotational speed is equal to the driver rotational speed divided by the velocity ratio. We know the driver rotational speed is 100 and we divide that by the velocity ratio which is 8 and then this gives us 12.5 revolutions per minute. You now have the opportunity to work through some exercises to practice your knowledge on belt drives. Please pause the video and work through these questions as shown.
and then when you work through the questions resume the video to see the solution so please pause the video at this point right the first thing we need to do is calculate the pulley ratio and pulley ratio equals the diameter of the driven pulley divided by the diameter of the driver pulley the diameter of the driven pulley is 6 cm and the diameter of the driver is 24 so that's 6 divided by 24 which gives us 1 quarter or 0 0.25 we know that mechanical advantage equals pulley ratio therefore mechanical advantage is 1 quarter or 0 0.25 mechanical advantage is also equal to the torque of the driven pulley divided by the torque of the driver pulley uh, transposing this equation gives us the torque of the driver equals the torque of the driven divided by 0 0.25 which gives us 20 divided by 0 0.25 and that is 80 newtons for the second practice example we have two pulleys in a cross belt configuration the first pulley has a diameter of 5 centimeters in and the second pulley has a diameter of 10 centimeters and pulley A which is 5 centimeters rotates at 40 revolutions per minute in a clockwise direction and the question is how fast is pulley B rotating and in what direction please pause the video at this point and work out the solution before resuming to see the answer We know that pulley A is rotating in a clockwise direction. So this pushes the belt down in a diagonal fashion from left to right and top to bottom. Uh, the belt then drives the pulley in an anti-clockwise direction. Therefore, pulley B is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction. Now, cross belt reverses the direction of the rotation. So uh, that is uh, consistent with uh, what we've just uh, discussed direction of pulley B is anti-clockwise. The pulley ratio is the diameter of the driven divided by the diameter of the driver which is 10 divided by 5 which is equals to 2. So velocity ratio is the rotational speed of the driver divided by the rotational speed of the driven. Transposing that gives us the rotational speed of the driver divided by the velocity ratio which gives us to equals to 40 divided by 2 which is 20 revolutions per minute now as a check we know that pulley b is larger than pulley a so pulley b should turn slower than pulley a and therefore this the answer for this question is b uh, 20 revolutions per minute and clockwise. In practice example 3, we have uh, compound pulleys in this belt drive system. Uh, please pause this video and work through the problem before resuming it to see the solutions. So the net pulley ratio of this is the product of the pulley ratios in the belt drive system. Uh, the first pulley ratio is uh, the the first pulley in the first pulley in the compound system divided by the driver pulley, which is 400 millimeters divided by 200, and that is multiplied by the diameter of the driven pulley divided by the second pulley in the compound pulley system, which is 200 millimeters divided by 100 millimeters, and therefore we get two times two, which is equals to four. And therefore the ratio is 1 is to 4 and the answer for this is B. So this brings us to the end of the module on belt drives. A couple of the exercises were based on the end of year examination paper for the VCE systems engineering subject. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope you enjoyed this module.